Okay, Proverbs, the second, um, the Proverbs, the first chapter, uh, verse 22 to 20, I mean to 32. Now, in this particular one, I'm going to jump around to it because I'm not going to read the whole thing due to time and short attention pan of some of these people that's listening. Okay, so in 25, it says, uh, I also left, okay, it's, wait, no, I'm going to see. It says, it says, how long you simple will, simple will come, ye love simplicity, and you scorners delight in their uh, scorning, and fools hate knowledge. 23, turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, I will uh, make known my words unto you. 24. Now look at this. Because I have called you, you refused. I have stretched out my hands and no man regarded it. Meaning God is coming to you, but you ignore him. But ye have set at not all my counsel and, and none of my, excuse me, reproof. 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mark your fears, your fear coming. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish comes upon you, when shall they, when then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Can you imagine that? You praying, you asking God, you 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 you're snotting at the nose. You you I mean you you're desperate. Oh, I'm desperate for you. You're desperate, but God got you on block because when He was trying to talk to you, when He was trying to show you things, you were ignoring Him. When He was saying, "Develop a relationship with Me. I want some intimacy. I want some attention. I need to have you in my presence," but you didn't have time for God. God said, do this. You said, no, God, I don't have time right now. You said, do this. No, God, my favorite TV show on. I got to watch this show. You got so caught up in the things of the flesh that you abandoned God. And the moment you needed God, God said, look, I gave you many opportunities. I was talking to you and you were ignoring me. I was talking to you, and you were ignoring me. I was preparing you for what you're going through now, so when you're going through what you're going through now, fear wouldn't bind you. Fear wouldn't destroy you. This Whatever you're going through wouldn't destroy you. I was trying to prepare you for what you're going through now, but since you kept ignoring me, what you're going through now, you got to ride it out. Who the father loves, he chases, meaning that who the father loves, he got to let them learn on their own. So, what is that? 28. Then shall they call upon me, and I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Can you imagine that? Looking for God. Can you imagine doing all, praying, fasting, reading, studying, Doing everything that you can. Because you need God to move like yesterday in your life. But it seems as if your words are on deaf ears. It's like you're praying to a wall and nothing's happening. You're praying and it's like when you spit out the window. And all they do, or you're spitting and it's windy. And then all they do is come back and hit you in the face or anybody around you. 29. For that they hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none. Let's see. They would none of my counsel. They didn't want to hear anything from me. They didn't want my counsel. Despise. They despise all my reproof. Reproof. Therefore shall they eat of fruit of their own. So basically, what God's saying is, look. Now that you're going through, you want my help. Have you ever been in that situation? You wanted to spend time with somebody. You 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 gave your all to certain people and they just looked at you and they was like, I ain't got time for you. I don't want this. But the moment they need some money, the moment they need a place to stay, the moment they need you, 
They get mad because you won't go and you won't cater to them. They get mad because you won't. And many of you have been there before. Where I, I like to call that the God syndrome. Where we get in the way and we play God for people. You know, when God is trying to, not trying, I'm sorry. When God is teaching someone a lesson or God is a, a beating someone or God is doing some things to somebody and we step in and we protect them from God's, uh, what God is doing in their lives. We protect them from God beating them or God correcting them, not beating them, but God correcting them. We protect them from God unaware because we don't understand between religion and relationship. So... Second. Hold on a second. So we are protecting ourselves. We're protecting others instead of getting into God's presence and saying, God, how can I be a blessing to more? God, what are you doing in their lives that I won't interfere? No, show me, Lord, what to do so that I won't interfere with what you're doing in their lives. But yet we allow religion. So anyway, let's, let's get back to it. So they said, prophet, how, how, did you see this pandemic happen? And I was like, no, but I saw something was, was about to take place. So he's like, uh, so they was like, okay. Well, so then we looked at all the, uh, all the secular artists becoming gospel artists. Uh, Snoop became a gospel artist for a second. And he was like, he just swore up and down. I'm saved and this God knows my heart. And what are you doing? And so and so forth. And so he was able to go into the church and sing his songs. And he got the Dove Award. And then uh, he got best artist and number one and all that on the billboards. And he made it big. He made it bigger than any uh, secular, than any uh, Christian artist. Then uh, Kanye West, he became, and but people never saw the things that were going on in the background. They never realized uh, the things that were going on in his life. That, you know, how do you come from uh, having a mental breakdown and then you say God called you to preach, but yet there are some things that didn't, that didn't pan out. Now, I'm not judging I'm speaking facts. I'm saying there are some things that should have took place because if God called him, God was, and God delivered him, he was never supposed to have another breakdown again like he did to the point where he embarrassed his family and he did so many different things and still having these different issues. But that's a different story. So we began to create these another version of, of Christianity. We created another version of Christianity. We created a, a, a godless version. We created a Yahweh-less version, if that's a word, Yahweh-less, but L-A-L-E-S-S. -E -S. You know, preachers, we like to make up words. So they made a Christ-like, uh, Christless. We made, they made a, not Chrysler, Christless. They made a, 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 a version of Christianity that had no Christ in it. They called it Christianity, but it wasn't Christianity. It was a demonic version of Christianity. It was the devil's version of Christianity. So they started indoctrinating people and bringing people in. So now all of a sudden you had secular artists, people who never gave their life to Christ, people who never understand the, 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 the process. Yet they knew the words to say, so we introduced the conspiracy theory into the church. The people that I used to like, to, like to Craig and, 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 and other preachers, and I'm looking and I'm like, where did this conspiracy theory kick in? Because then now nobody ever knew the virus. Nobody, and then all of a sudden, once the virus hit, all of a sudden they saw it coming. But yet they were playing with the devil at the same time. Now, I'm not saying that I saw it coming. I knew something was happening, but I didn't know what was coming. Because if I knew what was coming, then I would say, okay, I'm, you know, just, you know, making it happen. Saying, look, we about to get hit. hit. But no, but I didn't know what was happening. I just knew some type of curse was coming. Curse was coming. Because we chose to serve man instead of God. We, we, not we, they, we, they were creating their own version of Christianity. They even pushed out a lot of different preachers and they started telling us what we can't preach on and what we can't preach on and we can't teach on and can't teach on. And all of a sudden, these different type of churches started popping up with their own versions of compromised theology. 
We saw this coming, yet we did not pray. We saw it coming, yet we did not fast. And now that it's here, we still not, we still haven't got together and fast. Yet, what's happening? They're still playing church. How do you play church in the midst of this chaos? They say that, oh, the government shut down the church. The government did not shut down the church. Could have been that God was shutting down some people just so he can put some other people in the place of some of these people. I want you to tune in to our show. I did a couple of these videos so that I can get a lot of different stuff in. My, my video is going to pretty much be similar to this until I can be able to get all the stuff that's in me out. I'll be on different people's platform, uh, on people, different shows, uh, hosting with other people and having other people come in and host on us. I don't know how often we'll be on here. Only you and your request can determine how... how